let us begin with a few Hebrew basics. Hebrew is read from right to left. Number two, Hebrew contains no vowels. Masoretic markings, which are dots and dashes that are associated with vowel sounds, were added at a later time for pronunciation and for grammar. Number three, there are 22 letters and five final forms. Five letters have a different form when they are placed at the end of a word. Number four, most Hebrew words stem from three-letter verb roots and relate to the action of that verb. Number five, the language is made up of word clusters using prefixes and suffixes. These prefixes and suffixes connect sentences, act as prepositions and definite articles, such as the, and indicate gender, plural, past, present, and possessive. Number six, there are no capital letters in Hebrew. Number seven, when Hebrew words are written out in other languages using their letters and written phonetically, it is called transliteration. Since there are numerous letter combinations used to translate a word, you will see variations in English transliteration of Hebrew words. For an example, you will see Emmanuel with an I versus Emmanuel with an E. There are two pronunciations of the Hebrew language, Sephardi and Ashkenazi, and this also influences how Hebrew words are transliterated into English. For an example, a V sound may be a W sound in Ashkenazi. In this particular study, we will be using the Sephardi pronunciation. Number eight, Hebrew letters are never connected to one another, even in their script form. On the following screen, you will see a chart giving you the name of a letter, the letter sound, the letter meaning, the ancient symbol or pictograph, and the numerical value of that letter. Let's take a look at the Hebrew alphabet, the Aleph Beit. The first letter of the Aleph Beit is Aleph, and its sound is silent. Its numerical value is 1, and it is a picture of an ox head. Veit is the second letter. It is also pronounced Beit. It is a picture of a house or a dwelling, and its numerical value is 2. It can either have a sound of a V, V, or a B sound depending on the markings and where it appears in a word. Gimel is the third letter. It has a numerical value of three. It has a G sound, Gimel, and it is a pictogram of either a camel or a foot. The fourth letter is Dalit, which has a numerical value of four and has a D sound or a D sound. It is a picture of a door. The fifth letter is hey. Its numerical value is five. It has a h or a h sound. It is a picture of a window or of a person with their arms raised. The sixth letter of the Aleph Beit is vav. Its numerical value is six and it has a v sound or v sound. It can be a picture of a nail or a peg. The seventh letter is Zayin. Zayin has a Z, Z sound. Its numerical value is seven, and it can be a picture of a weapon. Chet is um, the eighth letter of the Aleph Beit with a numerical value of eight, and it has a Ch sound. It's a picture of a tent wall or a fence. Tet is number nine, with the numerical value of number nine, with a T sound, T, and it can be a picture of a snake or a clay basket. Yod is number 10. It has a numerical value of 10, and its pictograph is an extended hand or a hand. It has a Y sound. The next letter is Kaf. 
It has a k, k sound, and its numerical value is 20. It also has a final form, and it has a, a picture of a palm, the palm of a hand. Lamed has an L sound. It has a numerical value of 30, and it is a picture of a shepherd's staff or a prod and has a L, a L sound. M, mem, has a M, mem, an M sound. It has a final form also, and its numerical value is 40. And it is, mem usually represents water. Nun, with a N, a N sound, also has a final form. Its numerical value is 50, and its pictogram is sometimes described as a fish or a seed that is sprouting. Samech has a S, an S sound. It has a numerical value of 60, and its pictogram is sometimes considered a prop or a thorn, like a thorny bush. Ayan is a silent letter. Its numerical value is 70, and its pictograph is of an eye. Pe, or fe, which can have an F or a P sound, depending on where it appears in the word and the Masoretic markings, is, um, has a numerical value of 80. It also has a final form, and its pictograph is of a mouth. Tsadi has a tz sound. Its numerical value is 90, and it also has a final form. Its pictograph is uh, said to be either a righteous man, one who is lying down before the Lord, or a man side-lying is the picture. Kuf has a numerical value of 100, and it is, its pictograph is one of the back of the head, or its ancient pictograph um, depicts like the sun on the horizon. It has a k, q sound. Resh is, has a numerical value of 200, and its pictograph is the depiction of a head, and it has a u, a r, r sound. Shin can be pronounced shin or sin, and can have either an sh or a s sound, s, and its numerical value is 300. Its pictograph is of a tooth. And the last letter of the Aleph Beit is Tav. It has a t, t sound. Its numerical value is 400. And it is a picture of a cross or a mark. This concludes the 22 letters of the Aleph Beit.